What's going on, everybody? It is your boy, Trey Sense. But I'll let you get ready with me because I get ready to shoot this video. Okay. How's everybody doing? Wonderful, I hope. By the time you see this video, it'll be Thursday and getting ready for the weekend. It's late Wednesday night or early Thursday morning for me. Um, and I've had, let me slide you back just a little bit more. How about that? Yeah, there we go. Now we good. Your boys had a little bit of an epiphany. A lot of us have been doing fragrances wrong. A lot of us have been doing fragrances wrong. So I'm going to give you my thoughts on that and why I think we've been doing fragrances wrong. But before I get into that, I need something from you. I need you to like, I need you to share, I need you to sub. It is very important. Please, let's get this video to 75 likes. It's not asking too much. Just hit the like button. You may be the one like that sends it over the edge that uh, gets us to the 75 mark. Also, any of these fragrances that you want to try, hit me up. Email will always be in the description and you can, I will send you out a five mil decant of any of these fragrances for a small, small fee. Okay, what are you talking about, Trey? Doing fragrances wrong? Let me explain. And I'm, I'm guilty. I'm, I'm, I'm him. I'm him. Fingers pointed directly at this guy. Fragrances that are loud, fragrances that stand out, fragrances that perform for hours, fragrances that are obnoxious, fragrances that are strong, bold, oody, smoky, all this other mess. And they smell great. I love the way that they smell. As a frag head, I love a complex fragrance. So why we've we been doing it wrong? Because those are probably some of my least complimented fragrances. The average person that smells a fragrance on me likes a fragrance the complete opposite. A little bit of sweet and a little bit of wood is what seems to work in my demographic, my region, on my body, off my skin. Now, when I wear deeper, sweeter smelling gourmands, do I get compliments? Yeah, I do. I do. You know, you'll get if somebody smells good or that smells really nice, but a lot of times they say stuff like, oh, somebody smells like potpourri, or somebody smells like a, a good smelling candle, you know, stuff like that. It's never that cologne smells good. These seven fragrances that I'm about to talk to you about are fragrances that are simple, easy, inexpensive, mass appealing, compliment getting, everyday budget friendly daily driver fragrances three minutes in no further ado let's get it the first one i want to talk to you about several years ago all the reviewers were talking about it you don't hear much talk about it anymore it's still a great fragrance a little bit sweet a little bit woody very simple and it's from the house of jaguar and it is jaguar's pace and this is another one of those finds that i found on macari for under 20 bucks and it is well worth the price. Again, is it the reinvention of the wheel? No, it's not. Does it smell good? Yes. This is the type of fragrance that I'll wear and I'll think it's not that big of a deal and I'll honestly forget I've gotten it on after a couple of hours and then I may smell it and then somebody will walk right up to me and go, ooh, you smell really good. What is that you're wearing? And then I'm just like, you've got to be kidding me. Yesterday I wore uh, uh, Traces of Heaven, you know, and today I'm wearing Jaguar Pace and you compliment me? It's just, it's just crazy. It's just crazy. And you can't, you can't go about it like, oh, if the fragrance is more expensive, it's going to get you more compliments. In the air, they don't, they can't tell. I've never had a person walk up to me and go, you're wearing an expensive fragrance, I can smell it. Never have I ever, in 30 something years of wearing fragrances, have I had that happen. I ain't never, ever, ever had that happen before. I'm trying to see what that'd be like. But I have worn fragrances like this and people stop me and ask thousands of questions, especially at work. You know, one of my coworkers who is a, a young girl, she's 18, 
she'll walk uh, by me. I like if we're working uh, near each other, she'll stop and look at me and go, you smell good today, Trey. What is that? And I'm just like, I smell good every day. And she'd be like, yeah, but you smell good today. And this fragrance is like this, Jaguar Pace. So if you're looking for an inexpensive fragrance that smells really good, that's a Swiss Army that fits every occasion, Jaguar Pace is a fragrance that you need in your repertoire. Listen to me now. Believe me later on. This next one, every time I talk about these fragrances, I feel like they're niche, at least they're niche quality. They smell good. Um, I say they're niche because Lalique, to my opinion, doesn't make clothing. I think they make ink, ink pens or crystal wear or something. But anyway, from the house of Lalique, it is Lalique White. And this is a very underrated house. Uh, is it Linsumi? That's a banger. That is a great, great smelling fragrance as well. And these fragrances can be had for $25 or $30. I haven't seen a lot of Lalique fragrances out in the wild, meaning Burlington, Ross, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, etc., etc., Bills, Bills or Bells, however you pronounce it. Uh, Burks is what it used to be for me. Now, this one Woody citrus but very very easy very nice on the nose this one is more of a dressed up simple it's got a little bit of playfulness in it a little bit of citrus a little bit of masculinity coming from the woods but it's just simple slightly playfulness with the little bubby gum bubble gum feel to it but just an easy to wear fragrance that you can get easily under 40 bucks. I'll say around the 30 to $35 range. And guys, it just smells good. It just smells good, especially springtime coming and maybe you got a partner that you can't talk out of getting married. It's getting married in the early spring, uh, late spring, maybe early summer, or even early spring. And it's an outdoor wedding. You know, when the time starts to change and the days are getting longer and the butterflies and stuff, and ladybugs. This is a good time of the year to pull this fragrance out. Again, thanks slightly bubblegummy, slightly citrus with some wood, and that's what you have with Lalik White. Great little fragrance right there. This next one has wood in the name, and I talked about it not too long ago because I wore it to work and was surprised at all the compliments I got. And it is from D Squared 2, and it is simply wood. And what's not to love about this, it has a magnetic cap bottle name wood with a magnetic cap go figure and this one as simple as simple could get to me this fragrance is the definition of i'm a frat boy i, I am a minimalistic khaki t-shirt blue jean t-shirt nothing Fancy. I'm talking maybe van vans on the feet, maybe Chuck Taylors on the feet, some denim and a t-shirt. That's what this fragrance is in a bottle. That's what this fragrance says in a bottle. But does it work? Yes. Does it smell good? Yes. Do women dig this scent? Yes. And it, it's surprising again because it is so simple and so easy. Sweet wood that's what you have with this it is not a gourmand it doesn't smell like you're having truffles uh, uh pancake covered in truffle syrup none of that no what you have is a very simple straightforward sweet wood and when i wore this one i got asked i know three times within an hour by my co-workers what you got on today what is that that smells good. What is it? What is it? What is it? And it was from the house of D squared too. And it was wood. Sweet wood. Nothing else, nothing else to say. D squared too, wood. This next one puts me in the mind of a lot of other fragrances, but the scent profile to me is just a winner. It's just magic. And it's from the house of Tommy Bahama. And it is maritime and i like everything from this line in this bottle from tommy bahama i think this is an overlooked under hyped line from tommy bahama the maritime line whether it's maritime deep blue or deep blue journey or maritime they all smell 
really, really good. Now this one comes out very fresh and very aquatic. The magic in this one happens in the dry down. And it just reminds me of if you had Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce Aqua, if they made a Fierce Aqua, that's what this would be. That's what this would be. But it is, it is a very basic scent profile, but at the same time, it just simply works. So again, think Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce and a fresh aquatic note. And that's what you have with Maritime. Now I've been out in the middle of the ocean on a boat and it didn't smell like this. <laughs> it smelled like sea. Uh, so I'm not sure why every time you pick up a Tommy Bahama fragrance or, or an aquatic fragrance, you get such saltiness and you know, such airiness. Maybe, maybe the air is supposed to be like the sea and sun and all that, whatever. But nonetheless, this is one that I think is very, very easy to wear. Surprisingly good performance out of this. I can't remember if this is a cologne concentration or a perfume or at least a toilet. These must be toilets. I cannot make out that small writing. I'm going to guess from the performance that it's an EDT, but nonetheless, every time I move, I smell it and it smells good. You can also add a little bit of sweetness into this one as well, but I think clean, fresh, aquatic is what I think with this one. And I think that's how you should dress it. Khakis, a nice t-shirt, super casual, super easy, and go. Don't overthink it, but it has a scent profile that just absolutely works. I've got three more and I won't hold you. The next one is from the house of Nissan. And this one is a parfum concentration because it says it right there. And this just, it just works. It just works. And it's not the one you're thinking about, but it is GTR. And I don't know if this is a clone. I don't know. But what I know is this is a slightly spicy, sweet, very playful, but easy to wear type of fragrance. It's fragrances like this that people just, again, surprisingly, they smell them on you and they're like, oh, you smell really, really nice. And I mean, and I've stepped out with perfumes to Marley, Creed, Lee LeBeau, um, what is that, Mesa Margiela? I mean, I've stepped out with some, some Zaharoff and some of my other stuff, Clive Christians, I, and nobody really say anything. I spray this on and walk by five or six people and it's, oh my God, you smell so good. I think it's just the the ease and the fact that it comes across as, he smells good and he's not even really trying that hard. Just a light, pleasant, easy to wear fragrance. This one, again, has that sweetness in it, but it is a little bit more spicy and a little bit more fruity, definitely playful. GTR good one and this is a parfum concentration and it performs like a parfum concentration the the the, the nissan line i don't know who man, manufactures their fragrances for them but they are really good they're potent they do exactly what they're supposed to do and for 4.99 to 5.99 for 100 ml bottle you can't beat it it just makes me wonder like why are we paying so much for certain fragrances because we really don't have to we really don't have to and we shouldn't be because if they can make this fragrance for $5.99 or sell it for $5.99 and put it in a nice bottle and it'd be an EDP and perform like one, what is the point of paying $150, $200 for a bottle of cologne? But there's nothing here now there. This next one, again, and I've told the story about this fragrance. This is another gem I picked up from Macari. When I first smelled it, I was not enthused i was not overwhelmed i thought just a basic run of the mill i saw it at a good deal on my car 20 something dollars 
and it came with another bottle of Mont Blanc. It is Mont Blanc Legend Red. And the reason I put this one in this video is twofold. One is because it smells good. Two is because it fits the mold of this video. And for three, you're gonna see this fragrance right now a lot at your rag stores in the gift set. And it's honestly not a bad price for the gift set. It's probably coming in between 50 and 60 bucks or 50 and 70 to be on the safe side. And most of the times they come with a 100 ml bottle and another 50 ml to go with, or at least the 30 mil to go with it. I say get it, keep the 30 and sell the 50, or keep the 50 and sell the 30 and get some of your money back, or keep the 50, or keep the 100 and gift the 30, whatever. You know, at that price, you're getting two bottles of cologne. Same bottle, same scent, but still. And this one, again, I wore it. I remember my barber getting it, or smelling it, and he talking about how good it smells. And JP out in Texas, you know, JP, my boy, he was raving about it. I smelled it at the mall, and I was just like, you know, no big deal. When I got it, I wore it, and instant compliments as soon as I walked into work. And it was just like, oh, you smell good. What is that? What, what is that? customers walking by one dude stopped stopped me he well i was sitting down he walked in he just pointed and he wasn't even really near me he said whatever you got on today big dog that smell good i'm about to get me some of that two or three times that day and i was just like to me this is a basic average scent so i thought maybe it's a fluke so I wore it another day, same thing. Man, what you got on today? Whatever that is, smell good. I mean, and it was with no hesitation. It just, it's... Now, to me, what you get with this fragrance is, again, not getting anything groundbreaking. It just works. Real quick, some other fragrances that will fit this line, I think. Coach for Men. Uh, Ralph Club, whether it's the EDT, whether well, whether it's the, because the Ralph Club is a parfum, whether it's the original Ralph Club, which is a parfum concentration, or an EDP concentration, or Ralph Club parfum, either one of them, I think, work well. Now, to, back to this one. Oh, my goodness. It's a little bit floral up top just a little bit not off-putting or not in in a unisex way just a little bit citrusy a little bit floral up top more of a citrus floral i guess that would make it what neroli maybe but whatever it is i think i see it comes a to see right now whatever it is it works men women young old they all love this fragrance. Probably one of the most complimented fragrances that I have within two wearings. I've only worn it twice. And both times I've gotten unsolicited compliments to the, to the point where it's just like, I like, really, I, 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 you know, I'm sitting there shaking my head, you know, like, really? But it works from the house of Mont Blanc, if you fancy. Definitely clean, definitely sweet, very playful. Not as woody as I remembered it, but it is in the beginning, in the opening. The woods may come down the road, but right now we're dealing with the opening, but definitely a very fresh, playful, vibrant opening. And I like it, it's, it's a compliment getter. It is, from the house of Mont Blanc, Mont Blanc Legend Red. And last <clears throat> but not least, this one goes in a different direction from most of these fragrances, but offers you the same thing in the fact that it is just so simple that it works. And it is a crowd-pleasing, compliment-getting fragrance. And it's from the house of Masani, and it is Wave. And there is the levels on this. I've worn this several times since I got it. And this is one you may see at the rack stores this time of year as well. 
And again, this is one that, not to interrupt myself, but as I think about it, as I glance at my collection, Prada Ocean, because this reminds me a little bit of Prada Ocean as well. Prada Ocean is one that could have easily went in this video and fits that vein as well of just a easy to wear fragrance that smells good that people will love on you. Same thing, aquatic, clean, fresh. And this right here to me is just an extension of a shower. That, that's Maybe I feel that way because I have a shower gel of this. Mm, 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 mm. It just smells good, man. It, it just works. My only complaint is that I don't have a bigger bottle. I will buy another bottle of this. But it really smells good. It just smells like... It smells like a really good Bath and Body Works shower gel. That's what it smells like. Or something from Coast back in the day that would have been something Ocean Zest or something like that. You know, blue deep blue sea or something like that but nonetheless it smells really really good very very sexy and it is just an aquatic soapy shower jelly type of vibe that's it man how many did I put in there two four six seven seven that's what I, that's what I was going for the number of completion that's it guys that's just seven fragrances from my collection that I say don't overdo it. Don't overthink it. Just spray it. Get compliments. Most of these can be pulled off any time of the year. Yes, some of them probably lean closer to warmer weather, but still, they will be just fine this time of the year. And I think you will smell pretty doggone good. And if you go in Burlington, you will definitely see those Nissans, or at least you used to. Um, and I know I've been seeing this uh, Mont Blanc Legend Red quite a bit. Jaguar Pace, I've never seen in a rag store. But it's definitely worth picking up. You can pick it up online for 20, 25 bucks at best. Now, with that being said, guys, I'm gonna get off here again. Remember the link, not the link, the email, my email address will be in the description below. If you want to sample any of these, feel free to hit me up and we will we will work it out. Um yeah. Yeah. Getting ready to start my birthday week. It's a big deal for me. And this week going into it is the first round to me, second or third round of college football playoffs because we got this, these conference championship games and I'm excited, 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 excited. But anyway, not here for that. With that being said, guys, listen, thank you so much for always being the best part of my channel, our channel, and for returning to the scene of the crime. And you already know, I love you all. And may God bless you all. I'm going to get off of your edit, thumbnail it, and get it up. I love you all. May God bless you all. Until next time, guys. Peace.